Hello guys and welcome to another video and this one was going to be a bit of a build update for the Flamewood Ignite Chieftain but that character has unfortunately made its way to Standard League. I did rip last night in a tier 16 map which is a bit unfortunate but to be honest with you I was playing quite recklessly because I kind of reached the end of the build for me. I think the build wasn't really kind of what I expected in the end. I think I've had a lot of time to play around with the skill now. And I've got some opinions about the skill now which I'll go through in this video and that means that this video is not going to be a build update but more of a full analysis on the Flamewood support gem because I think that that skill is quite different from anything we really have in the game right now. And I have quite a bit of experience now playing with it. I played both the Ignite version which I've played for most of the time of the character's lifespan and then I moved on to the Hit version later on. So let's get into it. Let's first talk about the Ignite version of the setup. So I would say that the Ignite setup is the superior setup when comparing Hit versus Ignite and that's because for comfiness of play it's just kind of a better setup where you only really need one projectile to hit the mob then you have Ignite Prolif and everything just kind of dies in an area around wherever the projectile lands. And obviously there was still the bugged interaction, it's actually still a thing right now, it hasn't been fixed just yet, where the Avenging Flame Trigger skill that comes from Flame with support, that's actually checking for accuracy right now, which it shouldn't be because it's a spell. And hopefully that does get fixed at some point in this league, there's been no updates about that, I did leave a comment on Twitter yesterday after they posted that they're going to be making some updates to bugs and things like that, but no word on that one just yet. But the Ignite setup is generally more comfortable and I think it's probably the better build all the way up until you have insane gear investment. And when you do have insane gear investment I think the hit build will become quite powerful. But the hit build is going to be something completely different. Whereas the Ignite setup you're just kind of cruising through maps, you drop one totem, the totem gets hit, out comes a projectile, it lands on the mobs and then it spreads and Ignite around on those mobs. And things like the Vow Ancestral Warchief setup where you have just massive damage while well, you only need one hit to come in and hit that totem for a projectile to be fired and then cause a huge ignite with Ignite Prolith. You can then use things to refresh the ignite such as Defiled Forces or the Fire Mastery for refreshing ignite on critical strikes. And that just makes it a generally more comfortable playstyle and definitely a better entry level playstyle as well. I think you need way less gear for that playstyle to get going. But I did switch over to the hit base setup because I dropped a Sire of Shard Staff and the hit base setup, well, the skill does shotgun and I didn't really expect this to be the case, but that does make some things ridiculous damage boost for the hit base setup. For example, the Sire of Shard's unique staff, which I dropped and made use of, well, the hit goes from one hit to five hits just by socketing it into that staff which means that that's a 400% more damage multiplier for the hit base setup. You also got a bit more damage on that staff as well. Obviously you've got to compare that to things that provide gem levels for totems because gem levels means life and life means damage. But I think that, that staff is going to be pretty good on a hit base build. But generally I think hit based is quite weak until you're going to have very late end game gear because... The setup just doesn't do as much damage and is quite unreliable. You do need mobs to continuously hit the totem. And speaking of that, let's really talk about some of the pain points of this skill. And I think really the most painful thing about this skill is using it as a main damage ability. And I think this is the mistake that I made that I initially didn't want to do because I did want to kind of start with a spell totem that had flame wood attached to it and then it had another spell. And I kind of, you know, double dipped the supports here and there, but... That didn't really end up happening and I went all in on Flamewood with the Ancestral Warchief and Vow Ancestral Warchief setup. But this creates a big problem. There are some mobs in the game and some bosses that just do not want to hit your totems. They will not hit the totems. So one of the mob types that I think is the biggest offender for this is the little chaos mobs that I think they first spawn in Act 9, the Malagaro part of the Depraved Trinity boss fight. Those little mobs, they cast Blight, and Blight doesn't hit, it's just a channeling chaos damage over time skill, and these mobs just run up to you and they just start casting Blight. They don't hit you, they don't hit the totem, and so your totem's just sitting there waiting to be hit, no projectiles are fired, so the mobs take no damage, and that is super, super awkward. Then there's a few cases like that going on in the game. And also there's things like slow mobs and mobs that kind of take a long time to do things. 
you know, think of the zombies that walk around really slowly. And even rare zombies that walk around slowly and they don't attack very often and they're just kind of standing there and you're waiting for them to hit the totem. And that is a super awkward play style. And, well, there's some other things as well. There's the boss that appears in maps. The one that's kind of a copy of the goddess from the labyrinth. Well, that boss doesn't really hit anything. It just kind of teleports around the arena. It drops some fire and chaos damage over time that doesn't hit at all. And the only thing that it hits with are these projectiles, a bit like the ones that come off of Izaro to spawn the skeletons. And these ones spawn skeletons as well. And, well, these projectiles don't target you. They don't fire at the totems. They don't fire at you. They just fire in random places around the arena to spawn skeletons, which then come back to the fight and kind of try and help out the boss. And that is how you kill the boss. You have to wait for the skeletons to be spawned. And then the skeletons have to walk over to your totems. And then, of course, what happens is the boss teleports away and suddenly you have to wait for the skeletons to walk all the way over. And let me tell you, that boss was very painful on the Flamewood only build, where you have no other types of damage, just Flamewood support. So that was that was pretty painful. And I think in general, the skill has potential where it's used in a setup where you just kind of replace the support for Flamewood and you focus on the totems. I have heard of some people using this with a ballista setup where they just have loads and loads of totems so they're just spawning tons of projectiles all at once which is a cool idea. The only problem with that is you're not really scaling totem life so I think you're getting less out of flamewood support than you would otherwise like to. And really what I think will be the best setup for flamewood support is going to be a scion that specs into chieftain and hierophant and you're going to gain the Totem Torn from Chieftain, which is incredibly important. I can't stress enough how important the Totem Torn is. You're not going to be able to play this build on just any character. The Torn is so, so important for Flamewood to go off. It made such a huge difference when I grabbed the first Chieftain Ascendancy for the Totem Torn in the first lab. And so my idea would be a Scion that uses Chieftain and Hierophant. You get the Totem Torn. You also get cover in Ash from the Chieftain as well, which I have no idea why that's still there, and Chieftain doesn't have it, but that's how it is. And then from Hierophant, you get the additional Totem, and then you can get another additional Totem from Ancestral Bond, and another one from a Shaper Shield. And then you can also use a multi-Totem support there, so that you have a total of six Totems. And then the idea would be to use a Spell Totem with a Fire skill, ideally a skill which benefits from projectiles, and then you kind of double dip the projectiles with the Flamewood support, and that way you have damage when the Flamewood isn't going off, but you have a significant damage increase when it is. And you can kind of stack up all your Totems in one place, and that's going to really, really benefit from skills that hit wide areas. Think of some boss mobs that do large AoEs. Every time they do a large AoE that's going to hit all of the totems, every single flamewood is going to proc at the same time. And it's all going to fire projectiles at that boss. So I think that's kind of my best idea right now for the use of flamewood support. I probably will come back to this support at some point and make another build around it. Now that I have the experience of playing this skill the first time and I kind of understand what's going on with it. I know what to do and what not to do, and I think that the skill does have potential, but it needs to be fixed, obviously, the bug is a little bit annoying. But in general, I would just say that anyone looking to play this skill, try to kind of work the flamewood support into a build that already has damage coming from somewhere else, because just kind of making this skill as a solo damage is quite painful and not really worth it, I would say. There's just better options. I think, for example, if you wanted to look at an Ignite setup, you could go and check out Pack. He's always playing, like, Val Flame Blast along with another skill to clear maps. So you just save the Val Flame Blast for bossing or big essence rares or things that have a lot of health in maps that are annoying you. And then you use another skill to clear, whether that be Armageddon Brand or Firestorm or something like that, maybe Arc. Something that's easy to clear with, with Ignite, and he usually does that on Elementalist. Obviously, you don't really have that option over on a Chieftain, unless you use a Stormfire Ring or something like that. And one thing that I will say at the end of this video is just a suggestion. If anyone from GGG is watching, I do think that this Totem support would be so much better if it fired a Mortar projectile when the Totem took damage from an enemy, not a hit from an enemy, because... There are mobs that just do damage to the totems, but they do it in a way that doesn't hit the totem. 
and that is super awkward if you're just playing this build and your totem is just sitting there like a lemon and it's not firing any projectiles because it's not being hit. It would be super nice if the support fired projectiles whenever it took damage from an enemy. That would be a great change, I think. And that's it. That's my first impressions, my kind of takeaways after getting a character to level 90 using Flamewood support. I think that it's an interesting skill gem. It has potential. But it's something that I'm going to move away from now. I'm probably going to re-roll a little bit later on. Not exactly sure what I'm going to re-roll into just yet. But it is going to be a new build. And what about you guys? How is your league start going? I know that I haven't been too active in the last couple of days. I've just been busy playing and also doing some other stuff IRL. Let me know how you've got on with it. Let me know how you're getting on with the league in general. Let me know how you're getting on with the league mechanic as well. I'll probably have another video coming up shortly about that. I think that's going to be decent once they've got the fixes in. And that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay tuned and stay safe.